Hey guys, welcome back. Just wanted to uh, show you that my woodshed's getting kind of empty. And you know, we've had, we've had a pretty mild winter. And when people say that, I'm like, you're right, what, you know, the temperatures haven't been extremely cold, but in my house, if it's below 50, we're still running the fireplace. And that's pretty much been every night since October. So we might not have snow, and we might uh, not have negative degree temperatures, but I'm still burning wood every darn day. So that explains my woodshed. Fortunately, I've got a whole nother side over here that's packed to the gills. If I have to get into this this year, it's there and waiting for me. But that's not what today's video is about. I think recently you guys saw that uh, I broke a shear pin uh, on the snowblower and so there's, there's the augers. I'm not supposed to do that, right? So you guys know. So you guys know I broke a shear pin. No big deal. I really wasn't giving that too much thought because it's a super simple and easy fix. But just for the heck of it, I kind of looked it up and online and I discovered multiple tractor forums. <laughs> and everybody, and I mean everybody's got an opinion. So I'm like, well, maybe I better like look into this a little further to see what's actually the correct thing to do. Because in years past, I've had snow blowers. I break a shear pin, I go into the garage, I find a bolt, I throw it in there. Uh, so here's what I've discovered. Well, stick around and I'll share that with you. So we've uh, had some rain overnight. Rain and lots and lots of severe wind. I'm pretty sure I've had less power this week than actually had power for the house. So this gives me an opportunity to, to clean out this gravel that was frozen in there. Hopefully prevent breaking another shear pin right away. Okay, so we've got three bolts here. And if you've been online on an uh, orange tractor forum or even the green ones, the common theme is, if you've been online to any of the green tractor forums or the orange tractor forums, there's a common theme and they all say, and, and I'm, I would say the majority say, just put a number two bolt in there and you'll be fine. Well, what I discovered on my tractor is they're dead wrong. And they could this could cost you $3,500 or more to repair. So let me walk you through this. This is the correct bolt. It's a grade five. It's got the shear pin relief right there. This is a grade five. There's no relief on there, so you're not guaranteed that this is going to shear at the appropriate place. Will it break? Sure it will. But is it going to break when you need it to break? This is a grade 2 bolt. Grade 2 bolts are in the majority of small homeowner type snowblowers. And that's perfectly fine for those. But people that put these in on equipment like what I have here, the LX2963, this is going to be 
requiring the grade five bolt. Now many of you are gonna be like, it doesn't really matter that much, or a grade five is a grade five. Well, let me show you the bolt that came out and we'll see if you still think that way. So I have it right here in my hand and I'm gonna set it up against the new shear pin. You see that? That sheared right at the relief that's on the pin. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, now why am I bothering to make this video about a silly little bolt that costs 23, maybe 25 cents? Because the actual bolt cost me $4.94. Big deal, right? Well, if you put in a number two bolt, or if you put in a grade five bolt, and it doesn't break when it's supposed to, less important for the grade two, because it's gonna shear way more than you need it to. But if you put in a grade five bolt, or God forbid an eight, you're gonna have severe damage because you didn't wanna spend $3. So this is one place that I would recommend you don't cheap out. Go buy the right bolt. Now I'm sure that people are gonna comment down below saying that's not the case. And maybe that's true for you. Maybe that's worked perfectly fine for you. But I'm not willing to take that chance when I can spend so little and have the actual right piece of equipment in the tractor. I mean, let me know what you guys think down below. Maybe I'm blowing this out of proportion. But I'm hoping this helps save you guys some money in the long run. Doing the right thing usually does. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Give her a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Until next time, be a good human.